Which Five Nights at Freddy's character are you, based off of your personality? This entire video is based off of the universally accepted theory that psychologists call the Big Five Personality Traits. Five personality traits that define exactly who you are and why I decided to go from a career in science, medicine, and teaching to scaring my entire family. As we know, the pizza restaurant that we see in the games and film was created and owned by William Aft an aka purple guy, aka the man in the yellow rabbit suit, who murdered five children in the restaurant in 1985, stuffing their bodies in the one place that police never looked, being the restaurant's hulking animatronics. And with each of the kids coming to possess one of the animatronics, namely the four main ones, being Freddy, Chica, Bonnie, and Foxy, each of them have their own personality, likes and dislikes, and namely their own big five traits. So what are these big Big Five Traits, the Big Five Traits that make up your personality regardless of your background and upbringing are first defined as openness. One, many creators are likely high in being defined by how open-minded to new ideas, experiences, thoughtful, creative, and imaginative someone is. Then agreeableness, being how cooperative with others, empathetic, and how warm and kind you tend to be. Extroversion, otherwise how much you feed off of socialization, outgoing, and talkative you are. Conscientious consciousness, which is how ambitious, goal-oriented, focused, and responsible you are, and lastly neuroticism, which being the only negative trait, is overall how irritable, emotionally unstable, and how much you display excessive emotion when dealing with any sort of stress, no matter how minor. Rather than being an all-or-none situation, everyone has some percentage of each trait, just in higher or lower amounts. Some people may be very high in one or two while being quite low in another, with people who are low in a given trait having the opposite tendencies of someone who was high in that particular trait. Looking at the FNAF animatronics, we do see that animatronics like Foxy, who often like to be by themselves, and thus are likely lower in extroversion, are quite different than say the personality that the leader of the group Freddy has. So basically Foxy identifies with that part of me that sits down and writes these things for hours on end. Which brings us to Foxy. Foxy, who much like the title of his attraction would imply, behaves or at the very least talks like a pirate, speaking in pirate slang with a pirate accent at least the few times we hear him speak, with him sometimes simply muttering a song. According to a Game Over screen in Five Nights at Freddy's Help Wanted, Foxy is perceptive and not easily deceived. While still being a member of the group, he often acts alone, and based on the game's description of Foxy, he is quite reclusive. We do know that he is excessive exceptionally clever, going to great lengths to swiftly kill the night guard, as if the night guard isn't watching Foxy, he will bolt straight for the security office to catch them before they notice he's gone, with him even going so far as to completely dismantle himself, finding any vulnerability in the office, be it an open vent or left open door, as he slips in chunks of himself from his arms, torso, and eventually his head in piece by piece, until finally all of his fragments are inside, and once inside he will wait for the guard to look at the monitors before quickly putting himself back together, jump scaring them. Foxy is bold, reclusive, tends to do his own thing, and in later games, Foxy gets even more antagonistic, speaking in a more aggressive and belittling tone as he threatens to kill the player, seemingly taking a little delight in tormenting them. If Foxy is in fact the animatronic that you are most like, it means that you are likely low in your extroversion, preferring to enjoy spending more of your time alone or just around close family members and friends, with you also tending to be quite a bit more introspective, as you are able to more closely observe and examine yourself, gaining energy through quiet and solitude rather than parting your heart out every night. You are also likely to be moderate to lower in your agreeableness, prioritizing what you want or think should be the course of action over the needs and feelings of those around you. And it's not necessarily that you don't see or listen to others, but you tend to be much less warm, and a little callous in doing what you think is the right thing to do. Foxy, however, does seem to be moderate to high in conscientiousness, being very clever about thinking of various and even bizarre ways to achieve his goals, with him never really wavering in his focus. When it comes to Foxy's levels of openness, his disagreeable attitude at doing what he thinks is right doesn't necessarily show that he isn't open to new ideas, but he doesn't seem to share them with a the group either. 
either, so it's likely that he's moderate in his levels of openness to new ideas and thoughts that others may have. And from his behavior, Foxy can also be seen as being moderate if not a little higher in his levels of neuroticism, showing sudden bursts of aggression and overall a condescending attitude towards the Night Guard and whoever he encounters, saying things like they never stood a chance, how he can't wait to send them to Davy Jones's locker, going out of his way to make sure that the new Night Guard or player knows this. Bonnie, on the other hand, thanks to the Five Nights at Freddy's Pizza theme song, seems to have a very boastful and pride-filled personality that is supposed to be akin to that of a rock musician, along with him having a speech pattern that is said to be that of a laid-back hippie. However, during the night, Bonnie quickly becomes one of the most active animatronics, often being the first to leave the stage in an eager pursuit to kill whoever may be watching them, while at the same time being pretty persistent in his attempts to catch the guard with the door open. But once the door is shut, he's also quick to give up and leave, possibly knowing that there's little point in standing there once the door is shut. Bonnie will sometimes adapt his approach, that after being repelled from his usual route multiple times, he will instead choose to hide in the pizzeria's closet, and then quickly head straight for the office in hopes of tricking the night guard. He will often stare directly into the surveillance cameras, knowing that the night guard is likely watching, in an attempt to intimidate them. And when the animatronics are really active, he has been known to damage and temporarily disable security cameras, especially if he finds he's trapped in the Cramp Pirate's Cove with Foxy, and he doesn't like being spied upon. Now, if Bonnie happens to be the animatronic that you are most like, it means that you may be high in your levels of extroversion, as Bonnie is said to be an avid and confident performer, loving to play the guitar on stage, and likely works well socializing and communicating with the other animatronics he's stuck with on stage, being much more outgoing than the others. And with Bonnie being able to adapt to the night guard catching onto his habits, changing up his approach and thinking of at least one new way to get into the office, he is likely moderate in his levels of openness, as he is fine both trying a new tactic and idea, but he also tends to stick with or favors his traditional way of breaking in. But the fact that Bonnie is an extremely rambunctious go-getter when the night guard finally arrives on the scene, or if someone breaks into the pizzeria, and he is incredibly persistent in coming back again and again, means that Bonnie is likely above moderate if not quite quite high in his levels of conscientiousness, never giving up on his quest towards his desired goal. When it comes to agreeableness, that while certainly valuing his friends, Bonnie's levels are likely more moderate, being able to cooperate and collaborate with the others just fine, while still being able to be quite assertive and aggressive if he feels that a boundary is being crossed, like when he knows he's being looked at through the security cameras. Bonnie's levels of neuroticism like Foxy are possibly quite moderate to high, with him having no problems taunting the night guard, striking the security cameras if he feels his personal space has been invaded, and overall getting and acting visibly frustrated by things that stress him out. A trait that is quite different in the headliner animatronic, Freddy. Once again, based on the Freddy Fazbear's Pizza theme song, Freddy is said to be a fun-loving, laid-back, easy-going, and happy-go-lucky bear. At least until the lights go out, because this bear doesn't mess around and is the man with a plan. Freddy moves around a lot slower than the other animatronics, and the taunting of his laugh just echoes through the halls. He tends to move around in the shadows, can slip through the door quietly without the guard noticing, and that being said, Freddy is shown to have a bit of a lighter side. As in one of the minigames titled Save Them, it appears as if Freddy is trying to protect the children or a specific child from the purple guy, aka William Afton, being let out by the puppet it, but Freddy was too late. If Freddy is the animatronic that you're most like, then it means that you are high in your levels of openness. Being the leader of the group and having other possessed entities like Bonnie, Chica, and Foxy around him, Freddy, while not only being the speaker for the larger group, is shown to be quite intellectual, often being seen as the one to come up with the overall plan for how to go about accomplishing the group's goals, while also being curious enough to listen to others, taking in what they say, even if it's to only adjust his own plan for the perceived benefit of the group. Freddy also seems to be quite high in his conscientiousness, as he is not only pretty persistent like the others in the pursuit of their goals, but being their representative seems to take on more of the responsibility when it comes to interacting with any outsiders, whether it's to find out information or if their kids make sure they feel welcomed. 
beyond these two defining traits for Freddy, individuals like Freddy may find that they are lower in their levels of neuroticism, not being easily irritated or losing their cool in the face of any sort of stress, like elements of their plan going wrong or seeing the night guard successfully fight back through the pizzeria security system. Individuals like Freddy are likely to also then be more moderate in their levels of extroversion, if not sometimes being a bit lower, not minding having to take center stage and the attention on behalf of the group, but they also don't mind taking a step back, observing what's happening as you then wait to make your move, which also means that Freddy is moderate in his levels of agreeableness, as he easily cooperates with the other members of his group and what they may want or be interested in, while at the same time not showing any favoritism towards anyone and whatever their ideas may be. During the day, Chica appears as a joyful, good-hearted, and overall innocent animatronic who carries around Mr. Cupcake, who has been thought to be possessed by the dog William Afton used to lure her with. Of course, Chica then changes once night falls, as she feels the urge to stick the night guard inside a spring lock suit, possibly just following the lead of the others. Chica is also the only of the main four to be possessed by the soul of a young girl named Susie, and she may not mind having another around. When attacking the guard, Chica will tend to first appear in the window watching the night guard, possibly checking if it's a good time to enter, which also gives her away. But she is much quicker to move in and hide in the office than, say, Bonnie, and once inside, she'll patiently wait for the night guard to go back to the cameras, so she can then get the drop on them. Looking at Chica and her role in the group, it's possible that she is higher in her openness, being more open to going along with the group's ideas and how exactly to go about getting what they want. While at the same time, Chica has been shown to be moderate to lower in her levels of conscientiousness, at times giving away her position and intent by not only looking through the windows of the security office, but also knocking over and making noise in the pizzeria's kitchen, thus alerting the night guard to her whereabouts. But she is good at making sure that everything is relatively safe for her to enter, waiting for better opportunities to attack by sneaking up on people and not being nearly as brash as Foxy or Bonnie. Chica may also be moderate to higher in her levels of agreeableness. As not necessarily being the one who comes up with the plan, she tends to go along with what Freddy and the others may come up with, often following the other's lead, while also not showing signs of disagreeableness that would cause her to go out on her own and come up with some other crazy plan like Foxy does. Like the others, when it comes to their levels of extroversion, this is a bit harder to find than when, say, we went over things like what your Hogwarts house would be, based on you being sorted by your personality, which is what the Sorting Hat does, as we never really see them speak to each other too much, except for the occasional look and nod. However, we do see Chica often always being near the others, not needing so much personal space like Foxy or even Bonnie at times, but she never really takes center stage like the others, leading us to assume individuals of this personality type are likely moderate in their levels of extroversion. Then for Chica's neuroticism, she doesn't seem to be as easily upset, irritated, and nowhere near as taunting as the other animatronics are towards the night guard and any adults they may find, leading me to believe that she is likely lower in her levels of neuroticism. But if none of this was very interesting, then I saved an interesting fact for last. Susie or Chica, and anyone like her, based on her personality that she displays towards her friends, would likely be sorted into the Hogwarts house of Hufflepuff, which like Ravenclaw has a really sweet common room. As we go over what your Hogwarts house would be based on your personality in this video. So watch it to see what house the sorting hat would put you in, and I'll see you in the next one.